MATDEC comes with a variety of IDEs that are each specifically tailored to the language or library that they have been made for. To open them, you first need to head over to this little triangle by the new tab, click on it, and then to open the Kiwi, PySide, or Tinkerscript, you go to New Python Script and then select Tinkerscript to open the Tinker IDE, and then you select Kiwi Script to open the Kiwi IDE, and the same goes for PySide too. You can also open the MatDeck script, which utilizes MatDeck Simplified C, and then finally, a classical C script. All GUI designers and IDEs are available in MD Python Designer. They are available with unlimited uses, unlike MatDeck 3, where the GUI designers can only hold up to four elements. This is because MatDeck 3 is for trialing the GUI designers, whereas MD Python Designer is a perfect and low cost option to create fluent apps that are both aesthetically pleasing and work smoothly. All the necessary Python modules and libraries for these GUI designers and IDEs already come pre-installed with MatDeck. However, if you would like to update any Python modules or add your own Python modules as well as other Python modules, you can use this button here. Each Python IDE and library has its own unique advantages. For example, Tinker is incredibly easy to learn and use, making it perfect to create fast prototypes in a couple of minutes. However, it does not offer compatibility with mobile devices and can only be used on desktop, for example, with Windows, Linux, or Mac iOS. Kiwi, on the other hand, can be used for the development of mobile applications on both Android and iOS. It is, however, a little harder to learn than Tinker, but this should be no challenge because of MacDesk Kiwi GUI Designer, as it automatically generates the code and also makes the code automatically resizable. This means that your GUI components will look perfect on any size screen. Finally, PySide 2 is a little bit harder to learn than Tinker, but easier than Kiwi. It can also be used to create mobile applications, but it is a lot harder to do so compared to Kiwi. It is perfect for creating professional desktop applications that are going to be used around the world due to its high level of customization and professional use from various companies and various different fields. The GUI designer of each IDE can be opened by first going to the IDE of the language slash library you would like to open and then heading over to the programming ribbon and clicking GUI designer. Since this is the Tinker IDE, this will open the corresponding Tinker GUI designer. Once you click GUI designer, you then need to click new to create a new GUI slash project. Now that we have the GUI designer open, we can easily add components and elements to the canvas, such as the button, some sliders, a progress bar, or even a list box. We can also change the size of our GUI by expanding our canvas. There is also unique customization with each element or component of the GUI. For example, with the background, we may change the color to a dark gray. We can also change font, font sizes, as well as font color and background color on buttons. A unique feature is that we can also change what the cursor will look like when hovering over the element. For example, when hovering over the element, we can change it so that the cursor is a circle. We can also change the text of a component by double clicking on it and then changing it to what we desire. And then finally, when we click done, the code will automatically be generated. Now that the code has been generated, we can look at various different features of the IDE. For example, at the top here, there are all important variables, classes, and subroutines, so that when clicked, it will automatically send you to the location of that code. This works much better for larger files. There are also things such as the evaluate step-by-step -step button, which allows you to only evaluate your program until an iteration or selection is performed, allowing you to help debug or find logical errors in your working. Now that your code has been generated, you can click this button to see it in its entirety. And now we can also use the unique features of the IDE, such as evaluate step by step. This will evaluate the program, but only until an iteration or a selection occurs, then it will stop its evaluation. Similar to the evaluate step by step button, there are breakpoints, 
which occur when you click on to the left of the numbering for example like this this will stop the code when it gets to line 17 and the code won't run past that until you click evaluate again you can add multiple breakpoints as well to stop the code multiple times you can also use this top bar here to browse through variables classes and subroutines once you click on it it will send you to the code of that subroutine this is perfect especially for larger projects you can use these arrows to move your cursor to some of its previous positions this is perfect for if you want to see some of the changes you made but not remove them if you do want to remove the changes you can just use the classic combination of control Z to remove the breakpoints you just click on the red dots and then you can run the file here we can see an example of a calculator made using Tinker as you can see it is fully functioning and is aesthetically pleasing but most importantly it is very easy to make a quick prototype of it this calculator can also be deployed to create a .exe file which can be transferred among computers much easier the same goes for the Kiwi script and the PySci2 script so as you can see when we go to the Kiwi script and click GUI designer we get the same panel however when we click new and the GUI designer opens we are prompted the Kiwi GUI designer which is adapted for mobile use and for the creation of mobile apps just like the Tinker GUI designer and the PySci2 GUI designer you just drag and drop elements onto the canvas this is perfect as a simplistic ease of use allows you to create easy working prototypes in a matter of seconds all while generating the code that leaves you to do no coding but focus on the actual functionality and visuals of what you are creating just like before you can change fonts font color as well as the background color and more and then when you click done all the code is generated here now if we want to make a change to the GUI designer or add an event we just click GUI designer go into the widget we've already created and now click edit the same GUI designer will open with the exact same widgets in the exact same place. To add an event, we will first need to give it a name. For example, event1, and then click add new. Then we need to link it to a button. So, for example, this button. Once I click on it, I can then select event function here and use the drop down menu. And then when I click done, all the changes will be made. An event function is what will happen once a button or GUI element is clicked or enabled. Now we can see the same calculator but written in Kiwi code. As you can see, when expanded, the GUI elements will automatically resize to fit the respective space. The same goes when it goes smaller. This makes it perfect for being used on any type of screen as it will automatically resize itself to take its respective area. And naturally, the calculator works. Kiwi is perfect for creating apps for Android and iOS. However, PySci2 can also be used, but it will be much more difficult to send the files to be used on mobile applications and you will need more than one source file. The GUI designer, however, remains the same as before. You just drag and drop elements onto the canvas and then you can change canvas, data, color and customization, but also the elements themselves. And then once you click done, as you can see, the code is automatically generated. You can also copy and paste GUIs between the various designers. For example, this is an already made GUI using MatDeck Simplified C. However, if I would like to use the visuals of it but change the code to Python, I can just go GUI Designer, then select it and click Copy. And then I go over to which GUI designer I would like to use. For now, I will choose PySci2 and then click the GUI Designer button again and then click paste. As you can see, scientific calculator is now here and I can also open it to see it. And then once I click done, the code is also generated. Another IDE feature is that if you need to comment a large amount of code, you can just highlight the code, right click it and click toggle comment. As you can see now, all the highlighted code is commented. Now we can see the scientific calculator that was in the previous example we can see how it looks like in PySci2. You can also use Python inside of MatDeck documents, meaning that you can interchange between Python code and MatDeck Simplified C. As you can see in this example, 
both MATDEC code and Python code is used to do FFT. All necessary Python libraries and modules already come pre-installed with MATDEC, so the moment that you install MATDEC, you can immediately set out to use the GUI designers for Python IDEs and more Python features. If you would like to add or update any Python modules, you can use this button above. All these GUI designers, Python IDEs, and other IDEs as well as other Python features come with the MD Python designer, making it the perfect low cost solution to create applications for mobile, desktop as well as many other features that can be used.